All right. So there's a bill that passed the House to codify marriage equality. And uh, CNN reported uh, about where the 50 GOP senators stand. So I want to read this article. CNN asked all 50 GOP senators if they will support the same-sex marriage bill. Here's where they stand. Ten GOP senators are needed to join all 50 Democrats in order to overcome a legislative filibuster. The filibuster's fake. It's not real, by the way. They could just not acknowledge it. 50 Democrats plus the tiebreak of uh, Kamala Harris could just overrule the filibuster. It's, it's not real. It's not in the Constitution. They made it up. But In support of the House passed bill to codify same-sex marriage into federal law, CNN asked all 50 Republicans where they stand on the legislation. It's not, like, not yet clear how many Republicans will support the bill. But GOP and Democratic senators said Wednesday they can expect it could eventually win the 60 votes needed. Here's what we found. I'm going to go out there and say, spoiler alert, it probably won't happen. Four Republican senators so far have either said they will support it or will likely support it. What does that mean? All right, so yes, Susan Collins of Maine is a yes on the bill, one of the co-sponsors. Lisa Murkowski of Alaska likely a yes what does that mean like i mean like you know what uh, i'm leaning in favor of marriage equality but you know i really don't know she said she is open to hearing more about it <laughs> what what is what what is there to hear like i don't know like <laughs> rob portman of ohio is a yes in the bill tom tillis of north carolina Said he will probably will support a bill. What does that mean? No. Bill Cassidy, John Cornyn, Ted Cruz, Lindsey Graham, Josh Hawley, Jim Inhofe, Marco Rubio, Roger Wicker. These are all fucking crazy psychopath fascists that want to create an apartheid state just like they used to have back before the 1964 Civil Rights Act. That's what they're going for. And getting rid of marriage equality is one step into creating that apartheid system. Like, I need you to understand, these people are insane. Undecided or did not indicate support. They're undecided, they just don't know. I need you to, like, like being undecided, right, is like, oh, what do we have for breakfast today? Toast or a fucking muffin? That's undecided, that's something you can be undecided. Right? Should gay people be second-class citizens? You know, I just... I just really... I just don't know. I, Richard Burr is undecided. What? Roy Blunt said he isn't sure. Mike Braun of Indiana. He's gonna wait until the bill is brought to the Senate floor. Then he'll look at it. Why not look at it now? What? Okay. Joni Ernst of Iowa is keeping an open mind. Notice the thesaurus at play here. There's a fucking, like, these, there's a big thesaurus going on. Ron Johnson, I have not fully reviewed it. Cynthia Loomis, she's waiting to read it. Rand Paul, hasn't had a chance to look at it yet. Mitch McConnell, saying, I'm going to delay announcing anything on the issue until we see what the majority leader wants to put on the floor. Mitt Romney, it's not something I've given consideration to at this stage. Mike Rounds hasn't looked at the bill. Rick Scott wants to wait and see. Don Sul Dan Sullivan has to review it. John Thune, he will take a hard look at this. All it's a, it, they're all saying the same thing, but they're just whipping out the thesaurus. The, they're all in a room, right? And they're passing the thesaurus around. All right. So, John Thune's got the hard look. Dan Sullivan's got the... has to review it. Rick Scott, what do you want? You want to wait and see? Or do you want to see and wait? Alright, now you'll do wait and see. Alright, and that means I'll do see and wait. <laughs> like, <laughs> what? Pat Toomey hasn't looked at the bill yet. Tommy Tuberville told CNN on Wednesday he'd like to wait and look at the entire bill. Todd Young says he hasn't read it yet. The details are really important. The details. And then the rest haven't responded. 
Like, I need you to understand these motherfuckers are insane. Like, I just, like, I need... There is nothing to look at. There's no... There's nothing to look at. Everything's fine. It's, do you want gay people to be second-class citizens? Yes or no? It's not a, oh, well, you know... It's not a, oh, well, uh, you know... It's not a, well, you know, I gotta wait and see, you know what I'm like? Should gay people be second-class citizens or have equal rights? What do you think? Well, you know, I'm gonna take a long, hard look at that. I need you to understand, Republicans are fucking stupid. They're insane. They're psychopaths. What this means is they'll probably, if they want to, like, make optics be something that it's a concern, they'll probably hit, like, 58 votes, and then the other two will back out, and then they're good. That's, pro that's the most likely scenario, or it's just they're going to go with the 54 votes. Or 53. Joe Manchin's going to say, Oh, well, you know what? People of West Virginia, what do they have to say? Jesus fucking Christ, man. We got some psychos.